The latest nice hash update. Is it worth downloading? Well, let's find out. Shane here, CryptoFish YouTube channel. Thanks for clicking on and watching this video. I appreciate it. Today I'm going to look into the latest version of NiceHash and compare it to the previous version, see if it's worth the download, and also I'm going to pick a winner for this week's Bitcoin Fridays. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell below. been in cryptocurrency now for nearly two years, do a lot of speculative coin mining, comparison between different miners and GPUs, and also... I do something called Bitcoin Fridays, where I give away Bitcoin on every Friday. If you like this kind of content, hammer those likes. I would appreciate it. All right, so let's head over to the NiceHash dashboard real quick. This is what it looks like behind the scenes. Let me go over to Rig Manager. You can see my NVIDIA rig is running right now. So we can go over to Rig Details. And we can scroll down. You can see how it's all mining. And we'll see what it's mining right now before we actually head over to the rig. Looks like all four GPUs are mining Beam right now. So that must be the hot coin at the moment. And of course, my CPU is on Kryptonite R. So we're going to jump back here in a second. And I'll show you guys. I've had a lot of questions on how do you withdraw from these different various profit switching miners. So once I'm done showing you the latest update on NiceHash, we'll pop back over here and I'll show you guys that. So speaking of the latest version here is the old version right now running on my nvidia rig and let's see if uh it should be mining beam yep they're all mining beam right now so if you got the old version it's going to ask you to click here and go to the latest version when i do that i always like to download the latest version put it in its own separate folder so i can test and see which one is better or if maybe that new version is garbage it doesn't overwrite the old version so I'm going to click stop and let me close out of this. So that was $1.54 a day roughly. That's what it was making. So let me close that down. Let me pull up my folders. So here's the new version. Let me go into here. We'll scroll down. All right, so here is the latest version. Let me double click on that, pull that up. All right, so here we are. Real quick, have you guys downloaded this latest version? If so, are you having any issues like low payout estimates, things of that nature? Let me know real quick down below. I always like to know you guys' opinion on these things and any other issues that you may be having. Maybe somebody else in the community is having the same thing, and they can read the remarks and see what you did or didn't do on it. So do that real quick before we go on. I would appreciate that. So all I'm going to do now, I've already benchmarked this. I actually benchmarked this twice last night because I'll show you in a second. Let's we'll see what it actually pulls up on. Last night when I did it, it was running Lyra 2 version 3. And I think it is, here it is, going to pull that up again. Here it is, Lyra Rev version 2.3. I benchmarked this thing twice. I don't know why it's pulling that up, but let me scroll down and see what, what's doing what. 1660 Ti's, I think, are doing Ethereum. Could be Ethereum Classic. And I noticed that as well, too, last night. It kept dropping and pulling that back up. So, yeah, you got the 1070 Ti and the 1066 gig trying to do Lyra 2 revision 3. And it just keeps popping up like that. Closes, popping up, closes, popping up. So that's the latest version. So that's about all I was able to get out of it with this because you would be running Dagger Hashimoto or, you know, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic deal. And I get about 83 cents out of it, and that's about it. And you see it drops off again. So there's something buggy with this new version. Have any of you guys, like I said, downloaded this? Are you guys running into the same issue with the miner just dropping, pulling back up, dropping, pulling back up? Again, I benchmarked it twice, and no change. So let me click. See, it just pulled up the TT miner again. So let me get back over to here. Let me click Stop. So 83 cents on a new version is is all I'm able to get. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. All right, so let me go over here and pull up the old version again. There's nice hash, old version right there. That's why I always keep these versions in there, and I don't let them overwrite the new ones. 
because unless you point it to the folder you want to, it's just going to overwrite your old folder and you could be screwed. All right, so here is the older version, 192.12. So let me click Start All, and it should, probably should go right back to Beam. Let's see what it's doing. Nope, it's doing Ethereum or Ethereum Classic, whatever the case may be. And then there's the CPU doing Kryptonite R, and then we're doing Beam. And let's see what it gets up to. It should probably get up to around a dollar fifty again on this rig, I would think. All right, so dollar sixty-two. So for whatever reason, that new version is hopping on Lyra two Rev three, and that's just coming, going up and down and dropping. So you're not even getting your full potential out of your rig. So I would say be careful on downloading the new version. Put it in its own folder like I do. In case there is an issue, you can go back to the old version and just use it that way. That's what I always do. That's pretty much the smart thing to do. All right, so that's the latest version. Again, be careful when you download it. So let me head back over to NiceHash. Let me go back over to the dashboard. So I've had a lot of questions, quite a few surprising actually, on how you would draw from NiceHash or Kudo Miner. So I'll do NiceHash right now. You just click on... This is your dashboard, just click on wallet details, go to withdraw. I've already got an Exodus wallet set up, but I'm gonna withdraw to Coinbase and I've already got that set up. If you don't, you just click connect Coinbase. You click this, it'll take you over to your Coinbase account by an API and you'll just have to agree to it. But since I've already done that, I don't need to do that. So you just click on this, click on Coinbase and I click use max. So let me scroll down here a bit. Review withdrawal. I understand the transactions, blah, blah, blah. Withdrawal fee is zero because I'm going to Coinbase and then let's click withdraw. You have successfully withdrawn 0 0.0148 383 BTC. So back to the wallet shows zero and that's as easy as it is to withdraw. So now should be pretty quick that should be showing up in my coinbase account and i'm all set and ready to go okay so that's that for the latest version of NiceHash and how to withdraw your funds let's head over to my website now and withdraw and pick a winner for bitcoin fridays look at the contestants this week 45 i think the reason being is because i banned all of those spammy email addresses and they're banned their ips and maybe they just said forget it i'm not even going to try which is good for everyone else 45 contestants 665 entries so let me go over to manage giveaway all right so i'm going to click draw again if you don't win i do this every week so don't worry about it and i'm dealing with the spammy scumbags out there so it's going to be even easier for you to win from week to week your chances are at least much better all right so good luck guys all right so we have benjamin congratulations benjamin on winning this week's bitcoin fridays let me hit confirm and then i'm going to click notify All right, so Benjamin, you should be receiving an email from me. Just respond with your Bitcoin wallet address, and I will send you over the winnings like I do every week. All right, again, congratulations. I appreciate you for playing. I appreciate everyone for playing and watching the videos. If you happen to have missed my Minor Cup Finals between NiceHash and BetterHash, that video should be popping up here shortly. Be sure to check that out. I also have the breakdown of what all five miners did in that video as far as their withdrawal fees and the actual amount of VTC you get about midway through that video so be sure to check that out be sure to subscribe share this video if you think anyone you know would find it useful I would appreciate that I appreciate you guys for watching I really do thanks take care bye